hello everybody thank you for watching um today i'm going to be doing a first impressions and get ready with me on the <laughs> dusty and katie collection with dose of colors and um i'm gonna go into showing you guys my first impressions on using the eyeshadow palette called the girls and also what i have on my lips with the lipstick called in the shade more creamer please um, I'm creating a look to wear for a wedding that Victor and I will be attending. It will be Danny and Layla's wedding on Labor Day. So I'm super excited about that. And I really didn't know what kind of look I'm going for. So I'm just testing that out with um, today's tutorial. So stay tuned and find out what I think about these products. And just stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how I created this look. Side note... I do need to fill my pregnancy makeup haul for you guys. Not makeup haul, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. My pregnancy haul and how everything's been going so far with my second trimester. Um, six months, I'm barely showing. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> barely showing, but um, yeah. That's that. Hopefully I can get that video out soon to you guys. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. This is the packaging. It dose of colors. And inside, I just only got... That's just wrapping. Um, a card. Dusty and Katie's photo. So gorgeous. And I got the instructions on how to use the eyeshadow. And then here are my two products that I'm going to test out and try today. So I do have a wedding coming up, Danny and Layla's wedding on Labor Day. Yeah, Labor Day. And I just want to test out my first impressions on this eyeshadow palette and also just test run some makeup looks that I could wear with my dress. So the packaging is super luxurious. So pretty. And then look at the eyeshadows. I'm sure everyone has seen swatches on their channel about it. Oh, and then I dropped it. But, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use it. Then, I have the lipstick. And this is in the shade More Creamer, please. Because the other shade, No Shade, was just too light for my skin tone. And I love the packaging of this one. So really quickly, let me just swatch that for you. Gorgeous, like brown undertones, very pretty nude. I can't wait to see what that looks like on my skin tone, but let's get started. For the wedding, I think I'm going to use like my Nivea Post Shape Bomb Primer. I already have my face moisturized. I used... Embrolease, Embrolease, and a little bit of oil because right now I'm just like dry and trying to just get my pregnancy skin like on point. So I have a little on my hands. What the heck? Hair everywhere. And you want to get this in a like nice consistency on your skin. That way your product can stick. Okay, every single time I do that, my face turns red or something. Next, I'm going to go in. This was like a 100 point perk or bonus I got from Sephora. And this is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. So it's supposed to minimize and fill pores. So I'm just going to run this stick under the areas where I feel like I have texture or where I feel like I need to fill my pores the most. And excuse the lighting, guys. I'm still trying to get used to um, my lighting. So for the wedding, I think I'm going to go with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation because I'm going to put that on the back of my hand because it's matte and I'll probably be sweating up a storm. And not only that, it photographs really well. I'm going to go in with like a shade darker. Well, it looks dark when on me probably but it's gonna look good in the end because with the concealer and powder and everything it's just gonna blend really nice 
And I'm going to go in with my Pure Cosmetics sponge. So I like to work with um, little foundation at a time and then I'll build up to the coverage that I want because I don't I'm not all about like a cake face but at the same time like I do want um, some nice coverage for the wedding okay so that's that Oh, and I'm actually starting out with my face first. I don't know why, but we're just, I don't know. That's just what I do sometimes. So next, let me see. I think I'm going to just add a little bit more, like a second layer. And I always love foundations that you can build up and you have no issues with it. I have freckles, you guys. That's like... Something most people don't know about me, but they're like, why are you always hiding your freckles? And I'm like, it's not really intentional. They just go away <laughs> once, you know, you put all these products on your face. I forgot my neck. That's key. Oh, shit. Let me know what your um, favorite foundations are. Um, I used to just, you know, always look for my Holy Grail foundation for, like, um, name brand or high ends. I like Becca Complexion Cream. Um, what else do I like? Oh, obviously my Hourglass. And let me see. I just tried Giorgio Armani, and I really didn't like that. I wasn't a fan. And then next we are going to... You know what? I'll do the brows. So I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Bra Brow Stylist Definer. And this is in the shade Brunette. I actually have... No, yeah. I thought I had a darker one. But I, I think this will do it. So, I have my foundation and my brows on. So, you know what? Let's go into the eyes. I have my Fantasy Football League group chat going off right now. And we have a draft the same day of the wedding, too. So, that should be fun. So, for the eyes, I'm not going to use a primer because I just don't really feel the need to. Right now, I just kind of don't feel like using one. But if I do, I'll use, like, a concealer. So, I'm actually going to go in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And we're going to pick up a nice shade for like a transition. We're going to go in with Puree. So, it's this bottom one right there. And I don't know what I'm doing exactly yet for the wedding. I'm wearing a black dress because Victor is wearing a burgundy maroon like jacket and black like underneath and I feel like if I'm going to match him and we could complement each other I might as well just wear burgundy or burgundy I might as well just wear black which like sometimes I hate wearing black to, to a wedding. So we're just going to um, create definition. It doesn't have to be precise because, again, we're, we're going to go in with the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette and just pack on some color there. I think I'm okay for now with that shade. And this is the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. And I think I'm going to go in with Isabel just really lightly and kind of just... 
like blend it in some more adding some more depth into that crease I have small eyes and I don't have that much lid space to work with so not only that my eyelashes get in the way too when it comes to applying um shadows so that's why I barely wear eyeshadows I don't I only do it when it's like a special occasion or something. So here I am just fixing my lashes. Because then they get all crazy. Alright. So I don't know what I want to play with. I definitely know I want to use Suze for my inner corner. And then I definitely want to use either Noli or maybe, maybe Turbo Sun. Hmm. Let's swatch these to see. So I know these two you have to use wet and then Noli and Turbo Sun is fine. So let's just go with Suze. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus to wet my finger. I think I just have to go like this. Whatever. And then I'm going to dig it in here. Let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, then let's go in with Noli. And that's Noli right there. And then again, I'm going to spray my finger and we're going to go in with Turbo Sun. Oh, wait, no. You know what? Let's just do um, Harpoon because that's the one that's wet. Okay. Jeez, you guys, I'm like discombobulated today. I don't think I swatched that nicely. Let me try one more time. Oh, it's pretty. It's just that reflex that's getting, getting me. Okay, and then on my pinky here, I'm just going to use Turbo Sun. Oh, that is gorgeous yeah so I think I'm definitely gonna use this one because I'm going for like maybe some dark eyes and a nude lip so let me get a wipe so I could take this off so these are the swatches of the eyeshadow you have Sue's which was wet Noli um Harpoon which was a wet formula and then Turbo Sun and I just absolutely love the glitter reflex and undertones of these shadows. So, like I said, I'm not an eyeshadow person. So when this collection came out, I was like, I had to gravitate and buy this. I could have chosen the highlights and the, um, what else was there? Yeah, the highlight. I really want Fuego. I'm still eyeing that. So possibly. But, oh, those colors are to die for. So now... We're going to, uh, Victor is texting me. So now we're going to, um, now do the eyes. So let's see. I think I'm actually going to go in some more with a little bit of shadow. Hopefully go back in with Isabel. And I'm going to use a Lexi brush. And you know what? I'm going to dip like a quick dab into Violetta. And I'm going to mostly do that on the outer like make a V because again I'm going for like a smoky look for the wedding for my eyes tap that off and if there's any fallout my concealer is gonna um clean that all up And the good thing with like looks like this, you really don't have to focus on um, blending out the outer portions that are bad, like or that harshly. I don't know if I'm using the right terms. So again, let's go back in with Turbo Sun. So I have a little on my finger. I'm just gonna place it on my lid. And this palette is supposed to be used with your finger. 
I'm testing out this, um, my first impressions on this eyeshadow, and I think Victor and I are, like, <laughs> going out to do some baby stuff, like, errands for the registry and looking at maybe some table linens and things like that for the shower, but this is gorgeous. I'm going to build on top of that a little bit more in a little bit, but for now... So let's come back to the eyeshadows and what's what I do. I usually like go back and forth with things. I add more, I fix things up a little bit. But I guess before that we will actually this is a naked brush. I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you know what? Maybe I'll use Noli. So I'm going to go spray my little finger a little bit. A lot of water. And for Noli, I'm just going to pick that up and go a little bit on my center, the inner corner of my eyes. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm totally messy here. Clearly, look at this. I'm a mess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clean that up with this wipe. <laughs> Again, this is a first impressions, you guys. So, bear with me. I don't know what um what kind of look I'm going for yet with with the wedding so let's see let's clean up the under eyes i'm gonna use my tart shape tape in the shade light medium but to brighten up maybe i might add a little bit of my light medium honey shade And we're going to blend that in with the Pure Cosmetic Sponge. And again, slanted edge. I don't think I need to um, brighten some more underneath the eyes because... This concealer just does the trick. I love this concealer. And this is my go for foundations that are a little bit darker than my skin tone because with concealer and everything and contouring, it just kind of evens the look all out together. So let's just keep it at that for now. I feel like we're gonna do a little bit of contouring and again I'm gonna use my cream contour stick from Jordana in the shade deep and for my contour I like to blend it in with a brush my Sonia Kashuk brush I kind of want to create a strong cheekbone so I'm not gonna worry too much about blending it too in but this formula for the Jordana is so creamy and it's just so nice on your skin like oh I 
and just a little on my nose. All right, now it's time to set the under eyes. I'm gonna use my RCMA powder, but now actually for the wedding, I think I'm gonna use my Cover FX. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's try out the Cody Air Spun Loose Setting Powder. Put my sponge into there and put the product and just right underneath. And I'm not going to bake for too long. And I'm a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so really quickly, let me take off the bake and... This came in my BoxyCharm. This is a Luxie brush. And this is the Pro Precision Tapered in 640. And I'm going to just dust this off really quickly. This lighting of my um, camera is just washing me out so it's making me look like I have extremely bright under eyes but that's not the case <laughs> I swear I need to do something about this and again to get like rid of some excess powder I'm just going in with my Visazi brush okay and we're gonna set our look so I'm going to use so this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 3. And this is just a really nice powder for an all-over glow. And to set the makeup, I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one. Okay. So to deepen the contour up, I'm going to go in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer, and I'm going to pick that up from my NARS palette. This is the Stephen Klein. It came in, like, I want to say around holiday time, and during the VIB Rouge with Sephora, this is when I picked it up. So, um, let me try to zoom you guys in some more. Okay, so NARS Laguna right here. Picking that up with my Moda Pro brush, and this came in a boxy charm. And I'm just gonna go in around the cheekbones. I should have tied my hair up because I keep playing with my hair. Okay, so that kind of given gave me like a little bit of color, but I do want to have like sh like um a more contoured look for the wedding. So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm just gonna contour the cheekbones just a little bit more, just really slightly. So that way when we take photos at the wedding, it's like, I don't know, I could look snatched because mama needs some help with this pregnant look and just doing that I hit pan with my Kat Von Z palette which I finally needed to do. I feel like being pregnant I lost my cheekbones. <laughs> You know what, I'll just come a little bit on around my nose. So I'm just going to add a little bit more chapstick. That way when we put on that lipstick from Dose of Colors, it just looks good. So I can't get over like 
bronzy skin and as I'm looking at this because it's on my desk I'm just like oh, I need this bronze colored in my life so I'm looking at my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder and this is in the shade golden light shade number one and you know what I'm gonna just quickly again add some color to my face Okay, now for some blush or some highlight. Let me see. Let's do some highlight. Let's go in with, for the wedding, I'm definitely going to want a pop of highlight. So for that night, I'm definitely going to use my Artist Couture in the shade Illuminati. And let me see. Just go in with my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in bronze glow. This one's really nice. Oh, actually, I haven't used this bad boy in forever. This is the Kiko Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, so dirty. This is the Kiko Cosmetics 208. It's actually an eyeshadow, but it is so nice as a highlighter. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look, look at that. All right. So, my camera's playing me right now because it's saying that my camera needs to cool down. Super weird. So, again, with my Morphe brush, I'm just, I'm using the Bobbi Brown. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the Kiko one. Let's come closer. Yeah, we're going doing going around, like doing stuff this afternoon because we both have off and I'm just going to look <laughs> super glammed up while well, he's probably going to be in like sweatpants or something. Oh, and now I'm going in with my Kiko. The Kiko one is absolutely amazing to use wet and it will really pop as soon as I set my face. But yeah. I think I'm definitely going to use this eyeshadow for the wedding. Next, I'm going to go in with blush and give myself some color. Um, I think I'm going to use... So this is Becca Cosmetics, and this is in a mineral blush, and this is in the shade Songbird. It has a peachy and coral undertone to it, and I love, 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 love that. I'm going to go in with a fluffy <laughs> big brush. This picks up a lot of product. And again, for the wedding, like... I'm building product on me because you're going to be taking a lot of photos and just, it's a glamorous night. So all in all, you really just go all out with your makeup. <laughs> this is the MAC Fix Plus. And I do want to go in and line my lip. Okay, so I'm going to go in with MAC Lip Liner in the shade... Uh, etc etc it's the pro longwear lip pencil I really don't see that much let me see I'm gonna go in with a different lip liner yeah I like this one now let's test out this dose of colors lipstick and again this is in the shade no creamer please yes this is everything I imagined it to be 
Oh my god. And Ceci and Katie really hit the ballpark when it came to this shade and lipstick. This feels so nice. Oh my god. I literally may have to put in another order just so I could have backup and buy that Fuego highlight. But this is gorgeous. I love it. Let me see. Let's check out the color. Okay. So, I guess I'm not going to put it on right now, but at the time of the wedding... I'll probably go in with some um, black eyeliner and mascara. I don't want to put that on camera today because I, with my eyelashes, I just don't want to ruin them at the moment. And I try to keep them like really shaped nice as long as I can and I really take care of them. So for now, I'm just going to keep it at this. But this is probably the look I'm going to go for and I'm going to have my hair down with some waves. And yeah. You know what? Actually, we'll do underneath the eyes. We'll put some shadow there, so I don't look too... I'm going to go in with the Isabella from Mario palette, and I'm going to come underneath the eyes. All in all, I feel like the makeup look for the wedding will look really nice. It's just wanted to do a first impressions on this eyeshadow palette, which I'm really impressed by. So there goes my look for today. I'm um, using the Dose of Colors, Zesty and Katie collection. I'm absolutely so pleased with my purchases and oh my god, I think I hopefully can place another order. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Um, hopefully I get to vlog today with Victor, we'll see. We should actually see what he wants before he blows up my phone some more. But all right um thanks for watching you guys bye <laughs> jesus christmas you know how many times it took me to make a intro oh my god so um and then my mom wanted to interrupt me and whatnot um okay finally got to answer his text all right.